We have a wonderful paper doll collection to look at today. But first, the grocery store. We have Detroit Bold Coffee. And did you know that Kevin Costner has a coffee? I didn't. This is my garden. Well, it's part of it. I did manage to grow a couple peppers. There's another one down there. But look at this little bee. He's alive. He's just sitting there. I think that they get drunk on pollen. Is it possible? And look at what's going on with this morning glory. Growing up my shovel. They're growing everywhere. It's it's insane. I think they would engulf my house, but I just love this little bee. So we'll look at the oldest style first. This doll is Billy Boy, and it's from 1915, and it was manufactured by E.M. Levins. And it, it stands. I don't think this one, well, you could possibly make it stand, but I'm going to try not to manipulate everything too much. It's torn, but we can kind of, um, we can still see the clothes. Let's put it that way. So this is are the undergarments and the little shoes. And the first outfit is a winter outfit. And the mittens have a plain book. It's double breasted. And let's get it straight on there. Well, that, this has a hat, so let's put the hat on. Isn't that sweet? How many hats are there? Let's see. So it's that matching hat. This outfit is kind of a jacket with stripes. And a belt, and some shorts, this way of hat, so maybe something to wear for fall. Some other shorts set. So here's a hat. Let's put the hat on. Oh, isn't that sweet? Let's move that really down a little bit. The pretty pink, pink bow. And boop, 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 boop. It kind of looks like fruit loops, but only the red ones. And the jacket. Summertime outfit, maybe to wear to the beach. Blue, the peacock blue. The striped accents, a pocket on the chest. The last outfit is in their shorts, which I, are they pantaloons? I don't think they are, but I think a lot of little kids wore shorts. I'm thinking that I'm remembering a picture somewhere of my grandpa with shorts on as a little boy. But with a jacket and a belt. And this is a very formal looking hat with a feather. 
이것도 이것도 그냥 블랙 라이터 지금 이렇게 시켰네요 팀 브레스팅 오반드 원 from 1937 So this was from the company Merrill, and the drawings were made by Florence Salter. And we have Bob, and we have Yeah. Have stands to stand up to. And this set was called Our New Baby. So it would lend itself to a little girl's fantasy that two children, I think, uh, would be pretending that they have a baby and the baby in this case is Betty Jane and they have clothing and accessories Betty Jane's pajamas that are yellow with blue bunny rabbit and she's got a baby doll There is also, there are quite a few little uh, pieces of clothing. A nice, I don't think she's going to fit all the way through this. The other end. But there's her. Yeah, you did it right. Here's Betty Jane's bunting, I'd say. Hi, Blue. Anna's profession is a doctor. So if he were to go to work, he would wear that. He would wear his doctor's outfit, I think. His pretend profession. And he could be the baby on her skin. She fits right in there. Isn't that cute? Let's put some pools on Betty Jane here. Put this um, purple outfit on her with a gingham collar. Let's put it on her too. No, that doesn't really match. I see what matches actually. Let's lose that. This jean. Yeah, that matches. I hope uh, that jean's going on to a fancy baby party. Look at how fancy that is. Uh, but this is definitely the hat that goes on with that. How cute. <laughs> Let's put on a blue outfit for Bob. Little shorts outfit. That yellow outfit's taped on him. I'm dear trying to take it on. But yeah, it's clean so She looks very smart in her. Oh no, it doesn't. It's taped on. Oh, let's put her little sweater on her, her little card again. Dress too. She's got a yellow dress for summer, a sundress. She's got jammies with a robe. Let's see if I can find some pajamas for Bob. I think I see them. No, I don't. It's a snowsuit. That's us. Yeah, I knew Bob would have some pajamas somewhere. He's got polka dot pajamas. They fit 
I'm ready for bed. So let's get the baby ready for bed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby's very happy. They're a happy little family. It's a little torn, but that could be something comfy to wear to bed. And she has her bear. So here's Dot's snowsuit. It's green. She has mittens, not gloves. And Dot's is brown with stripes. Look at his sweet face. And he has mittens on too. I wonder if they would be inclined, however, to take the baby out in the snow. I don't see a baby suit. To wear outside. They're going to leave the baby home while they go out in the snow, which is a good idea. She's going to go to grandma's, and so they need to dress her in a fancy little pink gown. Grandma can thank you early and tell them to show everybody how pretty ba Betty Jane is. Looks like Baby Jane, like the movie. That might be something to wear to bed right there. The hat certainly is, I think. Or maybe something to put on after a bath. Maybe. They're done playing in the snow. And they are going to put on matching outfits because that's the kind of couple they are. There's Dad's red. They match. And it doesn't end there. They have matching hats. And they are going to take the baby out because they picked her up from the grandma's. So, baby doesn't have anything red left. So maybe Betty Jane can wear this pretty pink dress with a hat. Yes, you may wear it. She has daisies in her hand. So they're going to go out. Pretty sure this carriage goes with this. I might be wrong. We're going to have to take her dress off though. I might be wrong. She might not fit in there. Maybe this goes to something else. I thought I could fit her in there. Here's her sand bucket. Outfit where they're going to the beach in a pretty green gingham check. Jane's very stylish. Mm 
This is a bathtub too. This must go to another doll. But that was a good baby chain. That's a good little green polka dot outfit on Betty Jane. And she's got her bunny rabbit. He's not going to wear his doctor's coat right now. You know how sometimes doctors are having like a, a suit day? That's going to be good right now. But Dot is going to wear her nurse's outfit. Or nurse's cap. Oh, I think this cap matches. No, that's Dot's hat. I see that matches her outfit a little bit. Dot actually had two hats that I missed. A green hat. And a tan hat. Very pretty. Actually, let's get this nice up. She's off now. She's off work. She's going out shopping. Make this beret with that. She's been working hard as a nurse and she can go spend some of her money. She's going to buy the baby a new dress, a new blue dress. But after all, her husband's a doctor. She can spend as much money as she wants. And Betty Jane's going to get her a sweater. And a new doll. This came with Art by Bob Wardrobe. Dot's wardrobe. Wayne, Betty Jane on a scale. A little baby, a little baby bulk. It's shaped like a little house. And Betty Jane's wardrobe. It's so sweet. I'll do another one. Let's see if that's it. Betty Jane's wardrobe again. Let's put a hand on the rug. There we have our happy little family. So my next set of dolls are Blinky. Blinky. And Blinky. Isn't she sweet? It's just a piece of paper. They're made of cardboard. And they are in undergarments, but they have different outfits that are going out. Outfit for Blinky. You gotta stay awake if you're going out, Blinky. I'm, I'm assuming maybe these outfits are coordinated. Maybe. We'll try to coordinate them. So red and red. She has a mother goose book. And actually, I think I'll put he's got a ship book in this. So this is maybe they're going to the library. He's got a sailor suit on, and the book is of ships and things. That's cute. I think 
think that'd be a cool design, but yeah, I'm just trying so hard not to manipulate them too much. Alright, so I would say those two go together. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So those would be coming to the library outfits. They already have their white baby sheets on. Those are really sweet. They're the sweetest things I've ever seen. Now I see some pajamas. But I don't see two sets of pajamas. I think we only have Pinky's pajama. Blue pajama. Uh, it might be a real puppy wrapped in a swaddling blanket. Just point at that. So now they're going to go to the parade. The Memorial Day parade. Or maybe the 4th of July. His hand is, they've added an arm there. They have their flags. Match white and yellow, like a golden rod yellow. So here they're taking their teddy bears to the teddy bears picnic outside. And they're matching blue outfits. Jacket already. So let's try this with a cookie in his hand. And that. Okay, we have an odd number of outfits. I might find another one though. Little hat. Like a sailor's hat. Because we have the grand finale with these two. Some formal wear. Well, I would call it formal wear. Let's see. Dressing clothes. Isn't that cute? The added ends on there. He's got a red bouquet. Not actually. I think I see where I went wrong. Maybe that's their green out outfit. She has an extra one. I thought maybe this was his, but it's not. It's her. But we can switch her hat. She's feeling herself because look at her hands are out. Let's put this They're the cutest things in the world. So there's Blinky and Winky. And they're going out to church or wedding or just something fancy. The next set of dolls are little babies. And they're very cute. Let's start with Bonnie. little purple play suit with a jack in the back. Some 
little yellow dress. And this blue dress. And her hot blue eyes. The pink on it. I was going to say, how is it going to tie around her, her neck? So those match. So you get that the little hat, a blue bow, floral, floral pants. I think Mari's color is definitely pink. Um, these accessories include some little shoes. She has a white pair. I think oh. and another product. Another pair of dress. Here's Bernal. This is for the next painting. Put her over here and put a cross on her. The next baby is Diane. Another little girl. Shoes. Why don't we start off with shoes too? And then add them at the end. A traditional little white baby shoe pair. Isn't that cute? <laughs> it's pink with a lace collar and embroidered blue flowers. This one's cute too, I have to say. She's holding like uh, one of those towers of rings to stack. And she has on a yellow dress and another pretty dress that's white. and Diane. And it would be cut out, which hers isn't, and I'm not going to. But a little hat, a little bonnet. And this is for summertime. And her arms kind of transform. They put different arms on the paper. 
see if you show them you held up. That's pretty. Beautiful print, little pink rose. Again, this is Mary, Carol, and Diane. So we didn't get to Mary Carol yet. Hand out. This one has a little teddy bear, and this one has little white baby shoes, and then that little bonnet. I think that would look cute with that blue outfit. So let's see if the next one I pick up maybe is Mary Carol. We can take a look at that. They're the sweetest little things ever. Yeah, the next one I picked up randomly is a little boy, Tony. So yes, let's do a little bit with the outfits. Let's see what Tony's got going on. I wonder if there's a shirt that goes underneath the overalls. If there is, we'll come back to it. But he's, and he's even got little shoes on. Or with his overalls. He's going to go play in an anchor. This <laughs> be the sweetest little thing. Look at that face. Now, when I was just looking at these clothes, I thought maybe we got some of the boys and girls mixed up. But this is Tony's. It's just, um. Maybe how they would dress a little boy back in the 30s or the 40s. They would put lace on him. Oh, but isn't he sweet? Does Tony have any shoesies? He does, he does, he does, he does. A boot and a boot. Little white baby shoes. Now here's some, sh no, they're probably swim trunks. Is there just a shirt? he's going to church in that. There's another little kind of a furry outfit for Tony, but it's purple. That's all right, Tony. If you're happy with it, let's put your jammies on. Baby blue with a little pocket on top. Attached feet, I think, and they've got little ties on the front for his pajama. You can be gentle, gentle. We'll try to be gentle. All these decades that this paper has been around. I don't want to be the one to tear it. Well, here's Tony's robe in it even says Tony on it, just so there's no mistaking whose little robe it is. And there's Bill, it's looking good. Something else. Let's see what they're big. Can we do it? So what do we have here? I would say these two things go together. This would be a winter time going out outfit definitely because look at the double breasted jacket and a beautiful camel brown look at those eyes oh so sweet i love that he's the sweetest guy ever isn't he and what do we have left here with mr tony a, a few hats a sailor hat, so let's put the sailor hat on here. We'll let this one see. A summertime outfit to go to the beach or go play outside and maybe in a sandbox.
I don't know what this reminds me of. Jacques Cousteau. You know that movie Steve Zizou's, um, Steve Zizou, and they wore those little hats. You know what I'm talking about? The hat with the boom boom on it. And then these little bathing trunks. And then kind of got another little summertime outfit with sleeves though. And he could wear a little cap. So if you, Tony, you are styling. What are we going to leave on you so you're not in your undies? Other babies in the sets. And I'm not going to bring them out because they are in the birthday suits. So I thought we would just leave those out. But not two other babies though. We have two more to look at and there are two more that we need to show. This is Nancy. What is she doing with her hand? I don't know. She just is putting her hand up to her ear. Oh, Nancy's got a very pretty purple dress holding her baby doll. Let's see, maybe if there's a audience with some little shoes with Nancy. Her baby shoes. Button down, and she's holding some daisies in her hand. Close to the outside. Isn't that cute with little posies on either side? I wonder if Nancy could wear that hat to that to keep the sun off of her face. Maybe. But she was in that mood that day. Another little play outfit. And she's holding a doll. That has a matching hat and dress on. You know, her socks match. She's got a completely color coordinated outfit. There's the shoes for a minute because her jammies have footies. Because the winter outfit has a hood. It looks very warm and toasty, doesn't it? Pretty coat. And some gloves, not mittens, gloves. And a pink cloak with a it looks like a white dog on it. What's that? Another little bonnet with a bow. We put it with this little dress. How pretty. And these must be little shorts. change my computer popped on. But I know that there's some work to do.
에이비 토라치 People are of Italian descent who have male patsies in their family. So I had to check. But this patsy is a girl. And here is Patsy in her pink pajamas with a rag doll. Looks like maybe a raggedy hand. Patsy's feet are both turned to the left, so her shoes are too. And her first little dress we see is blue with a pink ribbon going through it. Oh, is she the cutest thing in the world? She won't need her shoes for her bathrobe. Her purple bathrobe with a swan on it. This is a little summertime outfit, and she's got a baby doll with some rickrack, pink outfit with some blue, dark blue rickrack around it for the trim, and a party dress with a bow on the back, and some pink party shoes. The hat has a blue ribbon. There's blue in the dress, so you can make it work for me. This dress, and she's holding a couple daisies, Shasta Daisy, with white petals and a yellow middle, and her little doll. Isn't she cute? So here we have all the little babies. Most of most of the little babies in the set. And they are adorable. So now let's look at four young ladies, and they were from the 1940s, and they all have different bags of outfits that we'll put on them. We have Pat. Sue, they might be sisters, <laughs> Pam, and Anne. So let's start off with Pat. Let me find her bag of clothing. stripes on the bottom to match. It's a very pretty green. And Pat also has a stole. That looks nice together, doesn't it? So that will be her evening wear. And then she has a button-down dress of a burgundy color with polka dots, and a white collar, and a green bow. She also has a business suit. It's like a power suit for Pat. 
and it is in a beautiful Ravensegg blue that matches her bow. And she has a flower on her lapel, a pleated skirt, and a jacket with a puff sleeve. This is a pretty dress. It's very traditional looking. And like a lime green. With a lace trim around the waist, the sleeves, and the neck with a red rose and a bow on the back. Each one of these ladies has a pants outfit. And this is pants with a sweater and brown slacks. Just so this little hat. Maybe she could wear the little hat with that. Looks kind of like a riding outfit, but I don't think it is. Let's see what this hat is, or maybe it's a bouquet. It's a hat. Maybe she can wear it with this pretty dress, which is a red color. It's very pretty. And it has different flowers on it, a, a, like a posy type flower. And then maybe a modern drawing of like a daisy. Let's put, see if this hat looks good with that. Might have gone with something else, actually. Let's try it with that. I don't really think it matches. And then that lace collar. What could that go with? We'll try that with that dress, too. That's very pretty. See another business suit coming. So this looks like a skirt and top, a blouse with a black belt. There's actually two of these little collars. Little lace collar. It's definitely pants because it says pad on the tag. Let's try the hat. I like it. I don't know if that's exactly how they should all go together, but so it matches. This looks like a shorts outfit. With a puff sleeve dress. Yeah, a top. And this jacket over it with a bow. And a golden color. Very smart looking, very chic. And another business suit. Maybe Pat was going to go take the emerging corporate world by storm. Oh, isn't that pretty? In an emerald green. Another hat. Bow does not go with this, although I guess it could. Who knows? The bow is pants. What would that have gone with? I wonder. What a pretty dress. Look at those three big black buttons in the, at the torso. And your eye goes right to that. She's got on like a little bow tie. It's probably a dicky inside of the dress. I don't know which outfit the bow would go on because hmm. and all we left is Pat's bathing suit. It all came with a bathing suit as well. And pants is blue. Let's 
Why is Pants broke? I don't know. These girls also came with a little bag of accessories. So when Pat went to the beach, maybe she could play tennis or badminton. Yeah. We have actually have quite a few tennis rackets. I knew I saw a beach ball in here. Maybe she could wear this hat to keep the sun off of her. It's not really a beach hat, is it? It might go more with um, probably that dress. Let's go on to the next one. This is Sue. I'm looking at Sue's bag, formal bear right now, and she's got a, a black stole. If you need to put it on her. There's all kinds of little things in here with Sue. Maybe a posy to put around her. Next. Maybe. Little things are getting a bit old. Let's get Sue covered up here. She's here in her little tap pants. She has a pretty button down dress. In front, just with two little pockets up top. And it's red with white polka dots. Isn't that pretty? I love how the little bows fly. Her hair, maybe? That doesn't have it. I don't think the blue doesn't really match with her at all. Let's see if there's anything else that she has. Just going to be plain, maybe to wear around the house. We're not going to dress it up too much. Here is Sue's business suit. It looks like she's going to wear hydrangea on her lapel, a, a, like a blue hydrangea in that beautiful emerald color suit, and then the it's a coat and it's over maybe a shift, a purple shift. These bows are really confusing me. That is a hat, right? Maybe I bend it too much. I don't think that collar goes with it. She could be a little posy though. I don't think this color goes with that. I have to leave the accessories for another outfit, I think. Let's try this blue skirt. It's more like a jumper with a floral blouse. Oh, 
me not be scared about that. Not sure about that. Oh, I can't get it to quite go on her head. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I don't know. That looks all right. I love the little posies that they put with this. I want to tie that collar on with something. This frilly collar. No, it won't be with our pants yet. So, her pantsuit, Sue's pant outfit, is a white blouse with like an emerald green pant. Definitely doesn't go with that, but I do have a little accessory. Maybe she's going to a birthday party and she could bring that gift. Let's look at some of the other ones that I have in the pile. Oh, maybe she could wear this hat. Maybe. What do you think? Purse too. I wonder if that would have something. Another hydrangea, I think. Oh, her dress. Oh, it's actually a blouse and a skirt, I think. That skirt and a cream coat tail with flowers and a blue hydrangea. Now that kind of matches in her hair. Kind, kind of. <laughs> Maybe not really. Hmm. But we could cover the blue up. Even though the blue matches the flower, doesn't it? I'm going to put the color on that because it will cover up the flower. Maybe we could try the color on this one. It's a blue polka dot dress. That's a jumper, maybe. Yeah, we could put that on there. For Sue. No, oh, maybe not. It's almost like a puzzle. I'm convinced I'm doing everything wrong. But it looks good just like it is. No embellishment needed. Maybe the color goes with this. What a pretty evening time. It's kind of a lighter shade of that blue. With a floral print and a pink bow around her waist. It's a lot of bows though, isn't it? So she has two stones. Look at this collar going on. I think I'm gonna keep the collar on this. Even though she'll have like a double bow. That's okay, it looks beautiful. And this might be something that she could wear to school or her job. Dress with a handkerchief in her pocket. Maybe she could hold this pink handkerchief because it kind of matches her collar with a very large, stylish looking black belt. Another dress with uh, something under the pillow. It's like a goldenrod shell on the outside, like a jacket, and then maybe a shift underneath with a floral print. Let's see if she can wear this purse. Like a green contrast. What do you think? I need to find an outfit for this store. So let's 
Okay. Yeah. She was wearing this pink party dress. It almost looks like a bridesmaid's dress. It could be. It definitely looks like something that could be in a wedding. And because she's very fancy, she's going to put her stone on it. I'm really making a statement. So what are we left with here? Her bathing suit. Oh, maybe her summer outfit. Little jacket and a little skirt. Could wear that to the beach with her pink beach ball. So this was Sue's outfits. Now we have Anne. Does Anne have a stole? I think she does. I thought I saw something furry in here. No, there's just a little jacket. Well, let's start off with this because this is kind of different than the other ladies. A white polka dot dress. That's so pretty. With like a blue and red at the bottom. Let's see what we could pair with that really look if I can't see. Evening gown. Maybe we'll just get the pink hat at the end. Put a hat on it. This is her businesswoman suit with a clutch. <laughs> Very stylish. What do you think of that hat? I think I think she she could pull it off. I think Anne could pull it off. I'm having a hard time knowing what these are. I tried to look them up. Oh. I see another businesswoman suit. These work suits remind me of Joan Crawford. Like in, um, oh, what's the movie that? It's the movie where she owns a restaurant. They redid it with Kate Winslet. <laughs> Margaret Pierce, I think. Is that her? Is that the lady's name? It reminds me of Joan Crawford. Let's see if she could pull that. Oh, yeah, that hat yeah, looks great. I like that. I'm not sure what 
sure if there's any right or wrong with these. I hope not. This is very... This reminds me of something off of Happy Days. Even though this is from the 40s and Happy Days was from the 50s. A white crisp cotton shirt with a skirt that flares and a sash belt. Anna's clothes. They're a little different from the other two ladies. That's pretty. She's still red. Dress. There's a flower. I can't really tell what kind of flower it is. And these striped details throughout the dress. There's a summer outfit. It might even be a bathing suit. It might, it might. Oh, that's pretty, that pretty blue. This is her bathing suit. Oh, there's barely anything there. It's green. So there's a summertime shorts outfit and this is Anne's bathing suit green. Suits her. And the green's very similar to this puppy dress. This might even be like the bridesmaid's dress. With a big blue sash around the waist. Another one of these dresses. It has like a, an opening to show probably shorts. A very modern print with stripes and then kind of a, a botanical row of leaves or petals. And it's in a brown and golden color, blue, and like a burnt orange. Oh, isn't this one pretty? It's got like a royal blue with a pretty flower neckline. And another blue dress, but a completely different hue. And another stripe, and I nice pretty flower. It looks like a, a poppy. And it's a repeat of that hip dress that we saw. So there are Anne's clothes. Very pretty. Now we have Pam. Is a dress that's very similar to her bathing suit. Let's start with her bathing suit. This actually might not be the bathing suit. Maybe it's a short set. It's got some stripes and a couple pockets. That's too fancy for the beach. Look on your head, Pam. Yeah. It's very similar to that. It's got an apron. This dress does.
Jesus. This might just be a part of the dress. Jumper is a lot of green blocks. Oh, I like posing in the middle. It's another jumper with red blocks. I like that. This might be a cool persky. Here comes the Joan Crawford suit. This pin has got a blue clutch and a red suit. Hey, crap, I didn't see this pin. Maybe that goes with them. Oh, very stylish. I don't think I can get it to stay on. What's on the shoulder there? It almost looks like a an arrangement of fruit. <laughs> this red dress and the blue matches the blue of the insert. Green dress with polka dots and a tie at the back, puff sleeves. Is, this is a very pretty kind of a winter outfit. There's a skirt, which I guess it could be denim. Maybe it's an ice skating outfit. And a long sleeve shirt with a vest over it. And look at the pom poms, how cute. There's a separate skirt. Just a top. I won't put that piece over it, just her. I don't know if this is what, how it's supposed to go, but I'm wondering where the skirt's supposed to go. Yeah, this is for Pam. It says Pam. Maybe. So this is what's going to be the bridesmaid's dress. A beautiful blue. Does it go under this maybe? Must have been a big style back then to have an outer coat like that with like a shift inside. I hadn't realized that before. So each one of these ladies has at least one of those. And look at Pam's pants outfit. Pam must have been, maybe she lived where it's cold because this is a coat and then she has mittens on. Is that not adorable? And look at how the pants are uh, enclosed at the bottom, so snow can't get in. It's a snowsuit. And this probably is a hat. Is it a hat? Oh, yes, it is. How cute. I'll go with that or hat. 
Queen's the only dark haired lady out of these, and she must have been from Cold Weather State. So now we have two little babies, tiny tots. Well, they're toddlers, not babies. And this was from the Whitman Published. So let's look at tiny tots. Two stand up dolls. We have Joyce and we have Freddie. They're crows and plastic base. Here's Jules, and here's her face. And here's Freddy. Here's Freddy's face. It's in here somewhere. something very interesting about this collection and I will show you eventually. Let's get some clothes on these guys. That one doesn't have a tab on that little dress. Let's put a little, oh, I don't know if it'll actually stay. We can look at it though. It's a little peach colored dress for Joyce with a lace collar and a little lace pocket. And it's not going to stay on her because of the lack of that tab. But it's very cute nonetheless. Let's find, I will put this dress on her. Little jumper over a little blue dress. Isn't that sweet? She's got some clothes on. They both have little white baby shoes on. They will stay. But maybe they're going to have play clothes on. So let's find something for Freddie that kind of matches that. We'll put this. Oh, that fell off. He has a brown check shirt with a tan top with an arm on top of it. That's not going to stay, so let's find something else. We could wear that, but it doesn't have any tabs. That was when he was going to go out a little blue suit and a coat. Some overalls and a t-shirt with a shovel that's going to play and dig. So let's sort through these clothes now that they're dressed. We have the Freddy pile, which we already have started back here, and a Joyce pile. They have a lot of different outfits. And some of them aren't cut out. See, that one's still, it's a hat, and it says Freddy. It's, somebody still needs to cut it out. Let's get another hat for Freddy. Play clothes, overalls, and a t shirt. And we have a little play outfit. This is this one. Somebody, though, made their own clothes out of patterns that these that they, they scheme with 
certain outfits and then somebody drew on lined paper I'm so excited let's put a new coat thing of clothes on you let's put your pajamas on while we're doing this you have your little dog here look at his little um slippers or bunny rabbits you better look but someone created using these clothes as patterns you can see a lot of oh here's the, one of the pieces of paper that they used old lined piece of paper so this is one that they made and then they colored it in isn't that cute it's a little snowsuit with mutants that have snowflakes how creative that's so special Some of Joyce's accessories that they didn't cut out, a scarf and a, and a hat, a, a fancy hat to go out. This must have been for another doll. It's too little. Mm -hmm. Not little. Maybe an outdoor set for Freddy here with Rick Rack. That's cute. I'm going to put that on over there now. That's so pretty. Here's Joyce's snowsuit. It's pink. And she has blue mittens. goes with that and they didn't cut it out yet. Freddy's hat. And I've got a little springtime play set for Freddy with some tulips on it. This is for Joyce. Let's put that on her. Oh sweet. Little overalls and she's got a shovel to go help her mother garden. And there are bunny rabbits on the knees. I see another on the yeah, so this is on that lined paper. So somebody made this and it looks like it's a swimsuit. This was Freddie's little jacket. Joyce and Freddie, let's put something else on you. You can not stand in your own underwear. There's another homemade one. I'm not sure which, it could go on either one, I think. It's a little short suit. I'm just so fascinated with those. And another little springtime outfit. And another homemade Summertime outfit and a jacket. Let's put that skirt on their Sunday bus because we have not seen that yet. Joyce has on little white gloves for that. And I know I saw a very fancy suit for Freddie. Very fancy indeed. Yes. That might be a little too fancy. Well, oh, this one's got a little piece of cream color. That's so sweet. Oops, I gave the wrong one. Okay. 
I'm picking up, I'm picking up. Here's another homemade one. It's a dress. So they made these so that they matched. I have to do it. How cute. I don't know if the viewer can stay, but this person who made these did a beautiful job, I have to say. I imagine they had mother's help. Very cute. So we have a few summertime outfits for Freddy and a hat for Freddy. They came with many outfits. Oh, look at this fancy jacket for Freddy. Oh my, that's a Christmas outfit. Because he has a glove on. Freddie needs some pants, though. I don't see like a separate pant. I see a separate shirt. Yeah, underwear or pajamas. And maybe that could be Christmassy too for her because it's green and red. Oh, cute. A little sweater, a little pocket sweater. Let's go with a bathing suit, maybe. Pajamas are for Freddy. So that's Joyce and Freddy with all of their outfits. Let's put them back in their box. This now is Sally Ann. And this, she was made in 1941 in a line of dolls that were modeled after the Dion quintuplets who were born in Canada in 1934. And it was so popular that they made several dolls in the same size and okay. The next doll is Sally Ann and she was made in 1941. She is part of a series of dolls that were modeled after the after Marie of the Dion quintuplets, who were born in Canada in 1934. So they made these sets of dolls, and the clothes were all originally drawn for Marie, but they fit several different dolls, and Sally Ann's one of them. So let's get her items out. A lot of them are uncut, so we can just look at them. She has some that are cut out. Oh, I got them. Separate. All of the dolls came with an outfit that had Marie written on there, even though she's Sally Ann, and that was kind of an homage to Marie of the Dion Quintuplets. So she's got on her little pantsuit with her dog. Hat that no one has cut out yet. She's got a little sweater and skirt. Nobody cut out the hat yet that matches this, I don't think, anyway. Let's see. Get that around. Let's see. 
Look at those rosy cheeks. Let's be happy because of that. I looked these up. I, th I could find her and I found the original pages. And I'm pretty sure I have them down what what is supposed to go with what. I think. Here is a dress that's not cut out and she's holding a baby doll. I believe this is meant to be there. Let's see. Not cut out. What a pretty blue coat with cherries and a necklace to wear with it. A red bead necklace. An umbrella in case it rains and a matching hat. And these where the shoes to go with that. How sweet. Try to keep. these not together and then they are cut out so we can get a good idea where we can dress her. Let's put it over. I think this is the equestrian outfit because I see the outline of a horse. Who knows, maybe whoever bought this back in 1941 only wanted the equestrian outfit. Oh, they didn't cut a lot of it out. I, I lied about that. But we can give Sally Ann some pants here. Every little girl has to have a riding outfit, right? Even though I think Sally Ann's pony it's just a stuffed pony, but that's okay. Let's get her hair on, if I can. I hear my dog woke up down there, so I'm gonna have to pause and go let him out. Okay, so we have the riding pants. And then this is her cut out, but it's like something to do with the, uh, the horse like horse tack, and I don't know the, the technical term for whatever that is. I don't think it's a whip. But it might be. I hope she wasn't whip him. I was never an equestrian. I can't uh, comment on any accessories. Oh, isn't this cute? A vest and a tie. And a little button down Oxford shirt. Boop, boop. All right. And she's going to wear her jacket over. equestrian outfit. And there's a little glove here for that hand too, because this technically has a glove on the hand. Weird. Where's the little glove? Oh, oh that's cute. Here's her dynamics hat. Just single glove. Let's look at the next little outfit. Here's the single glove. I knew I saw it somewhere. Kind of glue in that hand. Try not to bend them too much. You could just get the idea. 
You are so hoarse. dress-up outfit. I'm pretty sure it's a dress-up outfit. Although that was pretty dressy, wasn't it? You can't use my food. He sits in his driveway on his phone. Oh, now they're screaming. He sits in his driveway on his phone, like on a speaker. And often they're arguing. He's, arg he's a businessman. <laughs> and you know what? I'm so nosy. Don't listen, Sally Ann. I'm so nosy that I will, I will literally go stand at my window. It, it gets good, though, I have to say. It's far better than a lot of what's on TV. What's wrong with me? I don't even know what to do. He's just, oh, look at the little monkey. Oh, he's cut out, but a lot of the um, accessories of this are not... So there's a hat, and this one has shoes as well. So, boop, and a boop. This is the dress. It's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Green with a lace collar. Boots. Another hat. Maybe I got the hats wrong. Maybe that's the equestrian hat. But this coat definitely goes with the hat. And then it has purple gloves. And... So here we have Curly Top. Curly Top. Paper Doll with Hair. Patented June 7th, 1938. October 24th, 1939, and this was made by the Paper Doll House in Atlanta, Georgia. So, who do you think that they may have been alluding to at the time in the 1930s with Curly Top, the appeal? of a curly-haired girl, Shirley Temple, of course. So we have the brunette, and I did see a blonde doll on the internet, but we have the brunette. You look at all of her garments. Here she is. Under ginger. She stands up if you fold back this bottom, which may, is made to look like a cobblestone. She has the backs of her shoes and socks on. Big mother shoes. So let's get some clothes on her. The first item we have is a very pretty mint green dress. Waist, and then 
designs that were probably made to look like embroidery, red embroidery on the dress. So they should be pretty easy to get on. I remember it was easier to do that with her, to slide it under her arms because she's made of that rigid cardboard. So now that we have a dress on curly top, let's take a look at her pretty face. to secure the garment. But she has on, she has this, her brunette hair and a red bow in it. And she's got rosy cheeks and red lips. There she is in a dress that would be nice to wear to school or church, depending on the fabric, maybe even to play a little bit if it was cotton. on a pink dress now. That waistline's very similar. It matches her bow. It's a cheap pattern, a button down dress with a scalloped hem and a tie. There's one, two, three, four pockets in a very pretty peacock blue. very similar in style to the blue dress because it's again buttoned down one two three four pockets and a check print green and red tie very pretty with her bow at some degree of anxiety handling paper this old. I might say that quite often throughout this video. I think we can call it peak now. Yeah, I'd say it's a peacock blue. Maybe even a sky blue. Maybe be a play dress. Do darts there. Buttons down, but they're a little asymmetric.
This is a blouse and jumper combination. Blouse. It's cream colored with a red trim. And the jumper is green with the back buttons down. Holding here. This looks like a little cardigan sweater. Let's see how that would look with this outfit. I think it looks adorable. Well, it's cute. Should be a little handkerchief. I think that those two are supposed to go together. What do you think? Another jumper with a top. I don't see any buttons on it. So maybe it is a pullover sweater. Maybe. I'm going to try this on. Yeah, because it's the same color. Maybe a cotton shirt. I'm not sure if there were too many things like t-shirts back then for a little girl to wear. Oh no. And buttons down the back again. And the scale of 10. So let's try this on with this. Maybe a, because it does match, it's the same color. Maybe a little jacket to wear because it's but then when she's in the doors, where it's warm, she can take the jacket off and we can see her pretty shirt. Pretty sure those two went together so carefully. Carefully. This one is not. Be the most permanently bent of all, but I don't see any harm in flattening it, seeing that the others are flat. Okay, on the backs of the clothes, written in pencil, it says Margaret. So let's call her Margaret. We saw several of Margaret's outfits, and now we have a very pretty, like a tomato orange dress. more trimmed up top on the sleeves and it definitely matches her bow and how could we forget my the teddy bear who's the same color as the dress this would be a good play dress Very careful. 
So the next item we're going to look at is actually kind of a book. Let's get straightened out here. I don't think they're exactly straight. You'll see where I'm going with this backdrop in a minute. I These were... These are a set of four napkins. This is only two of them. And they were at least my grandmother's. I'm trying to remember how the story came to me. They're just cotton napkins, but they're very reflective of a 1930s, like, bright style, let's say. You'll see where I'm going with this in a minute. Because our next item is this really cool book. It is the Paper Doll family in their trailer. Isn't that marvelous? And the colors are quite similar to my nap my 1930s napkins. They actually might be 1920s napkins. I don't know. But this is just the cutest thing in the world. Here we have a family, and we will go through our cast in a moment. They're taking it cross-country trip in this red car pulling a trailer. The trailer has these yellow curtains in each window and various members of the story or cast are peeking through the windows at this bear. And look over there is a baby bear. And they have a bunch of Road maps scattered about Idaho, Wyoming, Colorado, California, Florida, Texas. Some of them are covered, so we can't see. We can only see an M. We have to guess. Missouri, Michigan, Oregon, Alabama. We can only see 10 there, so we know it's Tennessee. And this is copyright 1938 by the Merrill Publishing Company out of Chicago, Illinois. And these wonderful illustrations are done by the lady that signed in the corner here, Florence Salter. Cast members here. I've got some of them stuck in. <laughs> they have clothing too. If you want to look up Florence Salter, the American artist, she worked for this Merrill Publishing Company for a long time and she's very much known for that mid century aesthetic with a lot of fairy tale books with children with almost Gerber baby-like faces and animals dressed in clothing. It's beautiful art, as is this book. It's so special. This car is a Chevy Aero car. And I imagine they were incredibly expensive. Can, can you imagine in the 1930s, the family who could afford this? I bet you it was very few. We were just coming out of the Great Depression. But the trailer is meant to mimic a luxury railroad car. There's Tootsie the Cat. So the purchaser of this book 
would have started off, I assume, popping the family out to use in the various scenes of the story. And then they have clothing. I have found this to be, uh, I have an incomplete set, but that's okay. We're just going to um, work with what we have. So everybody's in their underwear. I will disclose that, but it's okay. First, we have Father. Let's put him back in his spot. Father, in the set that I have, doesn't have any clothing, none that I have found. So we'll have Dad maybe be fixing the car during the story. I don't know. So next, we have Tom, who is sister's friend in his undies. It's great shoes just like that. They look very similar, don't they? Okay, so who do we have now? Toodles. Toodles is the top. And he's very cute. And he's very small. But let's put him over here. Baby. Tootsie, I couldn't find. Maybe uh, it's missing. That's the kitty cat, or maybe that it will turn up, I hope. And then we have Mother and her slip. Looking very trim in her trim figure. Now we have a set of twins here, Buddy and Betsy. Where are you, Buddy? There you are. Here's Betsy. And here's Buddy. So all we have left is Sister. Where are you, Sister? Okay. So here is our family. Let's look at the book now and we will see all the different rooms of the trailer and all the different scenes. Pull the dolls and put them to the side carefully. So let's look at the first page. I think it's the living room. Oh, it is. Look at that yellow and red. It's so colorful. So there's the curved door. With a curtain, a polka dot curtain, a little tree, and a pot. And then we walk inside and we see two couches and some green end table with lots of books. So this is where the family can come socialize and read. Here are the pets, the kitty and Yellow chairs to match the cushions of the couch. And look at the curtains. And there are matching pillows throughout. It is a pink flower on a green stem. I wonder whose bag of knitting this is. Maybe it's sister's. But a bit of Red yarn has fallen out and the kitty cat is playing with it. And there's a rug with a star. Someone has left their book on fishing there. Maybe they're going to take a fishing trip in the morning. And a doll and a little polka dot bag. The window with some blinds. Radio, some more books, and a waste paper basket. A lot of things have stars. The rug, the waste paper basket, and then the throw rug. So since Dad didn't have any clothes, 
we're not going to leave him and we're not going to bring him into this scene. Let's say the family is going out and we'll put them in some clothes for an outing. So we have sister here and mom. The twins. You had to tell the boyfriend. They're going out. Now, depending on where they're going, Tom has a couple options here. With the suit that I was presented with, Tom could wear this suit. See, it says his name on the tag. He sure is a handsome guy. So Tom, boop, and then we're gonna careful. Yeah, carefully, carefully, carefully. And he's looking good. He's looking good. That could be appropriate for an outing. But the thing about sister is, I only have one dress for sister. I only have one garment. She's got to wear this the whole time, but it's beautiful. It is multicolored. See, it's a sister, like a rainbow. And it has ties. It's very fashionable. Boop, get down there, honey. Okay. Put up sleeves. And her hair is very pretty, isn't it? Little curls. And she has bangle bracelets on. That needs to be papped out, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to try to leave this as, how, as I found it as much as possible. That really needs to be papped out. Tom has a couple like that, too. So they look very cute together, I think, in their um, outfits. Tom also has another outfit. Let's just put him in it. Let's take off his green suit. And put him in his white tuxedo. Tom has good taste. Look at him here. Let's try to do this. Oh my goodness, Tom. Tom needs a flower for his lapel, lapel though. So let's leave Tom in his um, tuxedo. Maybe they're going to go out to eat at a fancy restaurant. Let's get everybody else ready, though. Okay, let's get Mom here. Mother. Now, Mother could wear this pretty dress to the outing. It's green. It's kind of a puppy sleeve, kind of. A tie, a bow around her neck, and a pretty belt around her waist to show off her nice figure. that in the outing. Let's get these little kiddos covered up, huh? Baby will wear a pretty pink coat in the outing with some green accents and a little handkerchief in her pocket. Isn't she sweet? She's ready to go. And the twins have matching outfits for the outing. Betsy has on a skirt with a jacket. And they're red, white, and blue. Very patriotic. All right, Betsy, work with me here, honey. There you go. 
also a blazer, a button-down shirt, a sweater, and in Betsy's case, a tiny skirt. Let's get her brother ready. And his matches. But he has shorts. It's the exact same outfit. Well, the back pockets are a little different. They're ready. Everybody's ready. And Dan's not feeling well. Dan's convalescing from uh, car sickness. We can't join them on the audio. So let's go to the next page. Let's see. What the next scene will be. see for dinner. Can you imagine wearing a white tuxedo? Oh my, oh my. I don't know. But that's just how Tom is. He's a risk taker. The same patterns from the living room are carried over. That floral print, the red checks, they have red checkered plates with blue napkins folded like carnival. A lot of yellow and red. So it is literally a breakfast nook. The nook is kind of right into the corner, built right into the corner there. It's like there's a toaster up on a shelf. Let's look at the kitchen. We have the kitty and the puppy having their meal on floral rugs, the sink, and various dishes. They're mixing things up, preparing food. The cabinetry is blue with white handles. And look at these polka dot. Dishes. But what I really liked about this was this area underneath here that they're using as a pantry. You can definitely see kids hiding under there. Maybe the baby. See the next room. Ooh, Hollywood swimming pool. Ooh la la. This must be outside somewhere. We have some red and white accessories. A seagulls to ride in the pool and a big umbrella and a beach chair. And even the dogs playing outside with a beach ball and a, like a binocular case. So only a couple members of the family came with their bathing suits. Everybody else forgot theirs, I guess. I don't know how we let that happen, but they, they did. So Mother has her bathing suits. It's red with white flowers.
pretty. Pretty sure this is her. I'm pretty sure that this is. Oh, no, wait a minute. How about this color? Let me go around her head. I think it's a kerchief. Let me rip it. Oh, I should have thought about this before I did this. And I did. How would that attach to her head, though? I don't know. She's got a matching accessory at the pole. And the other bathing suit I found, which is kind of like Mother's, is Betsy's. Let's get Betsy's bathing suit on. A lot of red and white at the pool. Even the bathing suits match. Okay. Oh, this is cute. Betsy, her name's right down there. We know it's for her, and it fits her like a glove. It fits her perfect. She's ready to play in the pool. Next, we have the bathroom. Very fancy. They've got a green tub, and again, the blue floor with the stars and a couple of pink rugs. Like a bubblegum pink, bubblegum pink shower curtain and a vanity for the ladies to get ready. I do have a very fancy dress for mother. So let's take her bathing suit off. Because it kind of goes with the bathroom. Isn't it pretty? Look at the flowers. And then a green bow in the back. This is definitely Mother's because it says so on the tag. Oh, isn't that pretty? I guess it could be a dressing gown. It looks pretty with the pink. And let's say she's going to the pink vanity to get ready wherever she's going. She looks like a princess. I do have a lot of our night clothes there. I think I've got night clothes for everybody but sister. So this is mother and dad's bedroom. And this is the boys' bedroom. It's dark and a lot of different slippers laying around. Slipper. Sweater for dad out and maybe mother's dressing gown. Name there, but mother has a dressing gown that we can put on her for the bedroom. Ooh, I can't really get back there without me filling up on it too much. I have that song Beach Baby in my head. Beach Baby, Beach Baby, give me a hand. Was on a movie I was just watching. And that little pool scene reminded me of that. Because we had a little beach baby here. We had Bets when she was going to the pool. Okay. Mother's dressing gown is beautiful. I've never owned a dressing gown like this. Ever. So let's get these boys ready for bed. So we've got Buddy, and I'm assuming that Tom is in with Buddy in the boys' bedroom. Okay? Anything else interesting in here? Slippers, we have the same wonderful curtains, and a couple of robes in a closet. And then for privacy, there are curtains that they could pull. So let's get these boys ready. Here is Tom's work. 
looks just like the little goose laying on the bed. But now we have the in real life one. It's a dapper guy. Hopefully, Buddy doesn't disturb him too much. He's got to get his beauty sleep. Let's get Buddy's pajamas on. his favorite colors. A little blob. Be the most colorful one of all. What's going on in here? We have a couple of beds. Normals. We have a shelf full of toys. It almost looks like Pennsylvania Dutch. Decorations, a dollhouse, just little things, a little photo on a nightstand, and plenty of books, stairs to get into bed, little tea set. So let's get Betsy and Baby ready for bed. What does this book say? I don't know. Maybe that's the sister's diary. Maybe Betsy can read that. She can read it to the baby. They can read their old sister's secrets. So here's Betsy's pajamas. They're pink. They're cute. Little blue. Oh, so the baby's gonna wear to bed. Oh, how adorable! How adorable is that? A little jumper. It looks like either flowers or maybe little lily pops on there. Thing I've ever seen in my life. I love this. It's got so 